Good Sunday afternoon, everyone. Just want to give you an update on our severe weather situation for this Sunday. Um, we've had the first round go through, and it really impacted counties that uh, bordered the Kentucky border. And look at those power outages. Fentress County, Overton County, Pickett County there is in red. And look at the counties to the west. Lots of folks in the dark now. This is one of the things I've been warning about. Prepare for power outages and prepare for long-duration power outages. Getting reports of lots of trees down. We're in saturated soils. It's not going to take much wind to bring down a tree. So if you haven't already, make sure you prepare for possible power outages. And not only that, but for long duration power outages that are possible. So we've had round one that's moving off into eastern Kentucky. Lots of tornado warnings coming out with that now. Um, that is passed. That's what left some damage behind in Fentress County, Pickett County, and Overton County. Line two, um, we see developing just west of Nashville at this hour. It is now one o'clock, about 10 after one. We'll be looking for that line to be coming in here probably in the four to five o'clock-ish time frame. We'll have to see how fast it goes. Sometimes these lines speed up and slow down. So, But just a general later afternoon is when we'll be looking for that to move in. Then you see where I've circled another area across Missouri. That is where line three will develop, and that one will probably pack the biggest punch of all. Um, if I'm, I am concerned about line number two, but I'm really concerned about line number three for for one thing, line number three will be coming through after midnight. So make sure you have a way of getting warnings if you go to bed tonight. So that one will be coming through after midnight. That one will have the potential to bring more widespread damaging winds to the plateau to all of Middle Tennessee. So that's the one we really have to be concerned about with power outages and long duration power outages. Um, but we'll see how it develops um, and we'll see how that goes through the afternoon. Hopefully we'll get a get a break from that. Uh, maybe line number two will stabilize the atmosphere enough to where line number three doesn't really have a good chance of getting um, as rowdy as it would like to get. So lots to watch this afternoon and evening, and that's exactly what I'll be doing. My threats remain the same. Everything's elevated. Um, and we do have a tornado risk, especially with the third line that comes through after midnight tonight. Um, so we'll have to be very weather aware for that. We'll be weather aware for line number two as well as well as anything else that were to pop up out ahead of that line. You know, this Clarksville's dealing with a storm right now that popped up ahead of line number two. And, um, and it's looking very um, intense on radar. And that one is sliding east. Um, so again, the most potent portion of line number two looks like it may affect areas north of I-40, but there's a lot of time between here and there for it to grow southward and become just as strong on the south end as it is on the north end. Folks, I'm watching it all today and keeping you updated on meteorologistmark.com. Download that app. I know the Android app is still having some issues, but the iPhone, you folks should be able to have download it no problem. But anybody can follow this site and have email updates um, sent to your phone. So stay weather aware, stay safe. I'll keep an eye on things. You just keep it right here at meteorologistmark.com.